Not only are we physically going where the animals are living, we're mentally, you know, trying to think as if an animal would think, but now we're also communicating with them and, and using their language to hunt them more effectively. And when you combine all of those elements is in pattern and wind and all of these factors, it really, boy, it opens up a whole new world of hunting and it's a game changer, it's a life changer. I mean. public land my whole life and um, in Oregon we just don't have the genetics for super super big bulls I mean they do exist but they're they're not as frequent and uh, going to Montana is really excited because they have such incredible genetics and to be able to hunt that's incredible. I was a little concerned about you know how stealthy we were going to be able to be with the terrain and the topography, but um, gosh, we just got super lucky and, and were able to you know get in on, on elk and stay disguised. In the state of Montana alone, the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation has enhanced or conserved over 700,000 acres. Was he a shooter or no? I would have shot him up here at 65 yards, right on top of this point. Other one's a freak. And uh, came around and he dropped down at this gully. We're helping lead the way in conservation and, and to be able to see a bull, you know, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years old reach maturity and, and get to this genetic profile, you know, that isn't done in places where they don't have good food and habitat. That's accomplished through hard work and conservation.
see him. He's not going to look at him. Oh, my God. Nice job. Nice work. That is an incredible sight. He didn't go anywhere. He was there waiting for me. It was the answer to every prayer, every dream. I had waited, like, literally my entire life. I dreamt about that moment. I, I can't. I, I'm going to cry. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm like speechless. The fact that he's gonna feed my family, the whole situation, it, it literally came out of the storybook of my dreams. As if I drafted it in my mind for the last 33 years. We had the perfect day, we got the perfect win, the perfect bull, it all comes together. Like I said, God likes elk, but sometimes he likes us too. He loves me today. <laughs> I'm so blessed today. As hunters, as conservationists, we lead the way for the next generation of hunters and the next generation of elk. And it's our responsibility to be stewards of both of those entities for everybody, for the wildlife, for our legacy. And this is what we live for.